Hey everybody, it's Mike here. Welcome to the channel and welcome to a new video in MOI 3D. Well, as part of the beginner series, I'm going to show you today how to model a flange, right? Now, uh, some people call it flange, some people call it flange. I guess that depends on where you live, but you know what I mean, right? It's fairly simple to do, but it will get you going in MOI 3D. So what we're going to do first is we're going to start with the outer circle. So we're going to click on our menu here under draw curve. And uh, before we actually do that, let me explain something. Let's say you, your uh, viewport doesn't look like this. You are locked into one window like this for some reason, right? The only thing you have to do is hit your space bar and you will go back to this view. And if your menu is on the right hand side and you want it on the left hand side, the only thing you have to do is go to the bottom right corner, click on options under general, go to side pane position, right to left. Okay, cool. All right, so we're going to start with the circle. And as soon as I click that, it says up here, pick center point. Now the center point is going to be the cross line of my red and green line. So I'm going to click right there. Then I only have to pull my mouse and it will create the first circle. Click to release. There you go. Now I need a second circle so I can repeat the whole thing. But if you just right click on your mouse, it will repeat last command. I can click on the center once again, pull on the mouse once again, and I'll get something looking like this and click once again. So now I basically have the outside diameter and the inside diameter. Now you can work with exact measurements if you like, right? After all, it is a CAD like program, uh, but we're not doing that in the beginner series just yet, but we got these two. Now we need holes for our bolts, right? And it's going to go around here. How do we do that? Well, I need another circle, right? So I'm going to right click and I'm going to choose a position for the first circle. Let's do that here. I'm going to pull my mouse till I got this size and I'm going to click once again. So now I have the first hole for a bolt to go through, right? I need a lot more. So what I'm going to do is click on this circle and I'm going to hit shift S. As I do that, it's going to ask me up here, click center point. Well, that's going to be in the middle right here and it will uh, draw a number of circles based on my previous use. So I can go up here to item count and let's say I want to change that to 12. All right. And done. Now, I basically now have a 2D representation of a uh, flange, right? But I want it to be 3D. So how do I do that? Well, it's simple. You drag select the whole thing. So you got all the curves selected. And then you go under uh, on the left here to the construct menu and you click on extrude. And when you do that, you can now move your mouse around. And as you do, you'll see that you now have a 3D object. So I'm going to choose my height on the left. You can see it's 3.6 right now. You can uh, change that, of course, if you like. You can set it to tapered. You can set a path. You can do all of that. But I'm just going to keep it simple for now, right? So let's say we'll do a little bit less. Let's say we want to have something like this. There you go, right? So uh, there you have it. Now, what do we have in our scene? What we're going to do is we're going to open up our outliner, which is basically our browser down here. And if you go and look at objects, we have no name objects, but we got curves, solids, edges, faces. We got all of that, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in here and select my object and I'm going to rename it. So I'm going to go in here and I'm going to click on it and I'll call it flangey, right? As I do that, it now appears in my list of objects. So if I turn off the curves, you see that um, the object remains in sight, right? So what I can do is turn off the flangey and just leave the curves open. So that will allow me to drag select all of my curves, hit delete, right? Turn back on my flangey and there you have it. So that's an easy way to get rid of the curves uh, if you don't need them anymore. And that is a very simple approach how to model a flange, a flange in MOI 3D, right? So if you have any requests uh, for tutorials, please let me know. If you enjoyed the series, I would like to know that as well. And that said, thank you so much for watching. See you guys next time.
拜。